What's that? I think that's Esme's. Is that yours, Es? What's this one? Oh no, that's Isabel's. We just realised that Isla's up there. <laughs> Don't worry, they're still coming. Yeah, what age is that? I have three outfits. I have this one, this funny outfit. I do remember a couple actually more that you've got coming. Um, I've got a flower one. Yeah, well, yours will be coming separate. Don't worry, it'll probably come Monday, okay? just went upstairs and threw on some clothes as the girls are way too excited to show me their hauls that they ordered themselves. I don't know if you heard before when I was saying but I actually don't know what they ordered it was kind of a secret when I was saying do you want me to check like do you want me to have a look at the clothes you bought they was like no it's us wearing them so you know as long as we like them that's fine because I've always brought them up to say that and I said okay you guys can surprise me then when they arrive I did know Isla had ordered some space pajamas because they were like 13 pounds I think 12 or 13 pounds and she was saying, is this too much money to spend on pajamas mummy? <laughs> oh because usually we get our pajamas from places like I don't know, Asda, where they're like five or six pound. But I said, no, it's up to you. If you really like them, you should you should definitely get yourself them. They did have a budget and they all stuck to their budget. Unfortunately, some of Isla's clothes have not arrived. So I think some of her outfits must be still on the way and probably will arrive tomorrow or Monday. Anyway, Isla stood with a ped poking around the door. I can see an orange hat on her head. Um, so outfit number one for Isla. Let's go. Cute. Those are very, very cute pajamas, Isla. I like them. Watch this. My hair looks a bit messy than my head. Hat head. Oh, is it a reversible one? Yeah, look. Isla's obsessed with bucket hats. She absolutely loves them after Isabel wore them last summer. Wow, I love it. Careful, you. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I love that, Isla. 10 out of 10 for that outfit. 10 out of 10. Okay, next one. Okay, Isla's going to put on outfit number two or outfit number one because the last one was pajamas. I will say just before because I've done this before and I had a few people saying you're such a cruel mum. <laughs> I don't believe I am, but I am honest when it comes to telling the girls if I like the clothes or the outfits they've got. I will never, 
ever be disrespectful to them obviously and I will never ever be cruel but if I don't like the clothes then I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna say I don't like those <laughs> but the girls know that the girls know that I'm like that dad is the opposite thank you choo choo he yeah he does he they could come down in a black bag and he'd be like yeah that's lovely I love that outfit Whereas I'll be like, no, I'm not feeling that. But the girls are also confident enough to, even if I don't like, thank you for the helicopter. Even if I don't like the outfit, it will never put them off wearing it. They're their own person and they know that just because somebody else doesn't like something, it doesn't mean you can't like it or you can't wear it. Just the same with some of my clothes. They don't necessarily like everything I wear, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna wear it just because someone else doesn't like it. If I like it and I'm comfortable in it, I'm gonna wear it. As long as you're, I know some people think you should always encourage your children to wear their own style and I 100% am with that. I don't like some of the clothes they wear or I don't necessarily would choose it for myself but I still think it's important to be honest in a respectful way. You ready Isla? Cute! That definitely needs ironing. Yeah, I'm going to wear this one today. You have to iron that. Well, I'll have to iron it. That is a very cute outfit and definitely perfect for this time of year. So it needs ironing, but it's basically a bunny hoodie. That's cute! With bunny leggings. That's definitely an Isla outfit. I bet that's super comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. And it's really long. I've always wanted a really long jumper. I love that, Isla. I'll iron that for you, okay? Okay. Leave it to one side. Okay, okay, next one. Is this your last one? Uh, yeah. Okay, last one. Go on then. Jace is having a little play this morning before we're even getting dressed, aren't you? Oh no, choo-choo. What's wrong with your choo-choo? Uh, you want? Wow, that's really cool. You love that, don't you? You do. Around. You're going round? Okay. Okay. Around. What's the car doing? Around. He's going round too. What else is going round? Helicopter. Yeah. What's too big? Uh, too big. Your helicopter's too big. Uh, Sorry, helicopter. You've been demoted. You're too big. <laughs> okay, Eileen, you come. Ah, oh, cute. <laughs> That's really summery and nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Ah, yeah, I like that. I like it. Fits you nicely as well. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's really comfortable. That's really cute. You know when you get that cold feeling on like it's like it's like silk with freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And well, this isn't it. It's like the actual leggings. That's really nice. Like a stretchy and silky material. Really nice, Isla. Okay, Isabel's about to come down. I'm really nervous for Isabel because her, Isabel's style's totally different to mine. Um, but, but she always rocks her own style. So even though it's totally different to mine, she always looks really, really good in it. Are you coming, Izzy? Cute, I like that. They're really good fit jeans. I know, they're so good. They might be a bit big on you around that area. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 like yeah. a little bit up there. They're meant to go down baggy, but I guess that's the other thing. Yeah, I would never, see this is a prime example. <laughs> I would never have chosen these. I would have been like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm sometimes maybe a bit too honest. Yeah. No, I'm not, I just don't believe in lying. I'm not too honest, yeah. I'm just honest. Yeah. If I don't like it, I'm just honest and I'll say I'm not keen on that. But um, Isabel, it's like, in fact, Isabel answered me. She showed, she showed me a top. She's like, Mum, what do you think about this? And I was like, <laughs> that was so funny. I'm like, I'm not keen on that. And th what did you reply I'll with? Look, well, you're not wearing well, it. It's a good yet. job that you're, you won't be wearing it then. It's a good job that I'll be wearing it. <laughs> but I like that. It's good to have it's your own style. And don't be peer pressured into what other people want you to wear. Yeah, I really like that. Yes, it's like a kind of a nice, cute spring top. Really some cute, cute jeans. They're really nice. They are really nice. They look, they look nice on you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. They're all coming down at me now. Come on, the Nez. Esme's got some cool fashion too. Yeah, actually, I do remember Esme showing me this, and I was like, "Ooh, that's risque." But do you like it? I think it looks so cool on you. Yeah. I, I could never wear something like this. For Esme, she, and especially with your hair, I don't know why, but it just makes you look really cool. Whoa. So it's an all-in-one. So, so. <laughs> it's really comfortable, it's like really stretchy material, it's really nice. Jasmine's got a ra on herself. Yeah. That's really cool. See, I would never have chosen this for Esme. Never in a million years would I have picked that out. In fact, I, I wouldn't have ever guessed you would pick something like that. I love but it looks really cool. I absolutely love it. It would be really good for like going on the trampoline. 
It's really stretchy. Esme's very active. Like you would never see Esme in a pair of jeans, ever. She hates <laughs> jeans. She'll wear shorts or leggings and that's it. <laughs> I love that Esme. Really good choice there. I really like it. Okay guys, I'm about to change it to my next outfit. I absolutely love this one. I love the print on it. And it looks really nice and it's super duper stretchy. But I'm wearing this next outfit. I think I'm gonna go with this other one because it's like this one, but it's a bit casual kind of thing. So I'll show you what it is. It's a bit like this, like I said, but it's long sleeved and long, I don't know if that's a bit too big, I'm not sure. But it's like long sleeved top, long sleeved bottom, and then it comes with a nice little belt. So I'm gonna try that on now, and I'll come back when it's on. Okay guys, so I'm honestly not too sure about this, and the top part is really nice, but then the bottom part, I'll show you when I go downstairs, but it's like quite baggy, quite big, it's really comfortable and super soft though. So let's go show mum. Okay, yeah. I really like it. I like that. Baggy's not always bad. Yeah. You've got your belt too tight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I that. Strap it properly, but yeah, I like it. That looks really nice. I like that. I think it's one of those cosy outfits that's really casual for like yeah. a day like today where it's coming spring, summer, but it's not actually very yeah, warm. it's still cool outside. Yeah, it's still quite cool. Yeah, but the, the belt needs to come down a tiny bit so it sits yeah. on the seam. Okay, Izzy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you coming in saying I want to see this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I really like it. I think it's nice. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I think it's but nice. Mum hates it. Well, what did you think? No, I don't. I don't hate it. It's just a bit revealing for me. A little bit. A little bit. That's You're still only 15, is he? Not. He was 16, like, like September. Six months or something. Six months, Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would never pick this for Isabel, and I'd never let Isabel pick this for no, Isabel if she was out shopping with me. I chose this top, and it looked like it was like a crop top with a bow at the front on the picture. But I've got it out. The reason I'm not, the reason I don't, I would never pick that is because you're never going to wear that and be comfortable. You, like you stood oh. there, like you stood, you, you literally stood there like this, covering yourself up because you're not comfortable. No, it's not because I'm not comfortable, it's because, I don't know, I, I think you're going to hate it. I don't hate <laughs> it. You're beautiful and you've got a beautiful figure, but it's just, you st yeah. I'm not even turning the camera around. <laughs> it's just, it's just a lot, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. Maybe, maybe that'll be nice when you've got like, a swimming costume on today. <laughs> no. It's a nice top. It's a nice colour. If you wear a big crop top underneath it. So this is the top. Yeah. It's really nice. It's really cute. I really like it. Yeah. Just need a vest under it. <laughs> Izzy! What? You're about eight years old. Why are you buying outfits like this? No, no. <laughs> what? I'm yeah, that's like almost five. That's got five in it. You, right, five, you're five. When I get older, can I wear stuff like this? When you're 27. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy, I wouldn't let you wear that. It's like pajamas. Like a, a yeah, as long as you're in a hoodie over the top. Yeah, a hoodie. I've got a hoodie with it. Zipped up fully. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how do you let your children grow up and wear clothes like this? It's nice. You just gotta let it go, Mum. No, I'm not let letting it go. go. Let it go. It's really nice. It. it looks really nice on you for like a nightclub, huh. but you're not going to no nightclub. <laughs> if I had a jumper over there, I think it looks really nice. It looks beautiful. I'm what not. It's mean? not. It's not a bad top. It's not a it looks beautiful. Bag. <laughs> Don't try and avoid my <laughs> attention from that top, Isabel. <laughs> <sighs> What's that? It's not a crop top or anything. It's not a crop top. Are you joking? Okay, so this is what Isabel stood in front of me saying. This isn't no, a crop it's like top. A really short crop top. I mean. Yeah, it's like a, an actual. <sighs> Long top. It's nice with a top over the top. Oh, what? A top over the top? Like a hoodie. Yeah. I've got a, I've got, zipped up. I bought a zip up hoodie. I'm going to try it with my next one, I think. Zipped up. Well, I've got another one similar to this. To there. I feel like sometimes it's a bit too much, and I don't know if I'd. Would you guys be happy about your 15, 16 year old wearing tops like that? Because sometimes, you know, I'm only a pair, I'm only like a normal parent, and Isabel's my oldest child, so I've never had, like, it's the first time, basically, I'm ever going through, like, this stage in our lives, and I don't know the answer, like, is it okay to let them, like, explore their own style, or would you put a restriction on, because to me, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's, I personally feel like that's too much, that top, that feel really cruel saying so, yeah, sorry Esme, come on. 
Yours better not be too much, Esme. Hello. You need a hoodie. Hello. You look really be you look really beautiful. Okay. If I sew on some straps, it's that yeah, top. You, that you need to sew that. on some straps. It's yeah. too much. I like it's too straps. much for your age. But if you sew on some thick black straps, yeah. that'll look nice. So this is Esme's. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of I don't too much mind a bit of a, a bit of a belly top. I don't mind that, but maybe not shoulders as well. Maybe not a yeah, boob would, tube would, for would, for your age. Yeah, I would rather have straps in it. I, I but I know Esme as well would rather have straps because yeah. yeah, you said I found a top I really like, but I don't like boob tubes. No, I, I like it. And you'd be more comfortable anyway. You're too active. You're too like flippy all over the place, jumping yeah. up and down, climbing trees to wear <laughs> a top that's not got any security like that. But you're right. Those shorts, age ten. Yeah, they're perfect. If you'd have I got think, a bigger size, they probably wouldn't have fit. Yeah, they wouldn't have fit because these are like perfect size. But I really like this outfit. It's a really nice outfit. It's really, really beautiful. And we'll sort out some straps yes. and then it'll be perfect. So we have both of these oh, tops. That's so nice. Matching. That's nice. It's really cute. And has got the same one as me. So we can matchy matchy. Do you have any normal top, like full length tops? Or are they all like. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice. Just, you know, it's just a top. Simple, cute top. I Simple, cute know, top. I like it. Way. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, Ed. These are pajamas. Pajamas, pajamas. Cute. Oh, they're they're like, cute PJs. I really like them. They're really nice. Just some little cute They're really soft. They're like really silky. Yeah. And then I love yeah. little, fr little frills on, on the bottom. bottom. Oh, they're really, really, really nice. nice. Yeah, they're really nice, Ed. Super cute. Okay, we've got Isabel. Oh. I think she's only got one or two left. Look at Belle from Twilight. <laughs> Nice. You could never take the hoodie off though. No, I, I wouldn't take the hoodie off. It's a bit too much that time. It's too, um, it won't be too cold and too, I don't know, it's just look nice with the hoodie on anyway. T turn, take the hoodie over a second so I can just, so, just so I can see this up. It might look just like Bella Swan. Let's try it. Yeah, hoodie back on. Okay. It's nice. It's nice. Around the house, but to go out, you could not go out in that. Okay. It's just too much. It'd be too cold to go out in that anyway. I prefer with the hoodie on. Yeah, yeah. but it's nice, like with the hoodie on and stuff. Um, I'll show you guys it. Okay, so this is the outfit. This is like a little brownie, beigey vest, and then a brownie hoodie. I didn't. I would have thought you would have gone for colours like that. No, it's wardrobe change, mum. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Isabel. Let's go through a stage. I'm too excited a stage. for the last one. Like, uh, okay, go, go put your last one on. I kind of feel like I should have monitored Isabel's top choosing. Yes, sorry, yes, I'm ready. It's really nice though. It's very cute, but it's definitely too big. Yeah. Don't pinch it at the back. Let's have a look. Like you could, you could never run around. I'll do yeah, handstands in that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very cute though. I could possibly get an elastic band and just do that. You can't really walk around with an elastic band. Yeah. Yeah. Like True. It's very nice. I'm not going to show the earphones. It's too big on her front, but it's basically the same top that Isabel had on. They're like black and white square one but um we we'll might be able to yeah the checkered one very nice cute have you got one more to try three more yeah i got loads of stuff in the sale we're here all day jeez you look so cute what have you got on and mommy doesn't want to turn mommy's head's too big this red looking hat but i think it looks even cuter when you exactly when you smile like this <laughs> leggings are in the washing machine. Yeah, Cute! Yeah, need dining. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really just a short top, but I really like it. It's a very cute top. Come closer. Ignore the shorts. <laughs> so, it's just a really pink, like, look, you're matching to me, kind of. <laughs> it's like a pink top. Obviously, these need ironing, but it's look, like got a little ruffle, ruffle, ruffle in the middle here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cute. I'll look nice with jeans or leggings. Obviously, you won't wear jeans, but it looked very nice <laughs> with some leggings. Isabel! Oh, I like that. I love that. I love it too. Yeah, that's my favourite. See, those tops are just really nice. They're really complimenting. They're not that the other ones weren't. Yeah. But that one, you just look comfortable yeah. in this one. You didn't. You might not have looked as comfortable in the others. Yeah. But um, I really like this one. Cute. So it's like a short t-shirt. Should I take the jumper off so you can see what it's like? If you want to. Yeah. It's like a thingy one. 
I love it. I really think that's really cute. I like that. I think it's really, really nice. Can I just like a bucket hat as well? Can I just have a bucket as well? Oh, I feel like it'd look nice if you just had like French plaits or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like two French plaits or maybe like two top, two top, not bun type things or something like that. I really like that. It's really nice. Anyone heard Jason going, my turn, my turn, my turn. Let's put the ball in. Okay. Okay. Love it. I was going to get Perfect. them black, but I didn't like this. Another jumper for Esme. They absolutely love these jumpers. Esme jumpers, like, I just love big jumpers. Esme got nice. such good discounts on jumpers. Like, she did. Six, this is like £6 pounds, literally. Mine was like 17 <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Like that's really nice. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, yeah, that's really nice, Es. I like that. one more thing to try on. Okay. Last one is for Esme. Is <laughs> for Esme? Tiny that's tiny. okay. No, I, 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 I can cope with that. What? I know. I was right thinking when she was like, "Hey, that's really cute. You I'm look there. like um, you look like Lindsay Lohan." <laughs> we have no idea who that is. Yeah, I heard from Parent Trap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She does. She does. She looks like Lindsay Stay Lohan. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, this this looks teeny, teeny tiny. I can cope with that with the length of that with the length of that skirt if she pulls it down a tiny bit more. <laughs> Very cute, Esme. Very cute indeed. What have you got? Is that Nana's bag? No, her back. She brought it to her house. Her back. You want to give it back to Nana? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. She brought Jace that, didn't she? A prison. So yesterday I had a big long list of things I wanted to get done for the caravan renovation that I'm doing and one of the things, the main thing, was to connect the water tank and all its little various pipes and stuff up to the caravan and check that it was working and make sure that it was all good. To do that I had to burst build the water tank and I just ran out of time yesterday, I ran out of light, ran out of time, so I couldn't do it. Last night I finished the video at about 2am and I came outside to make sure I had all the parts just to check all my pipes and stuff because I was thinking in my head about how I'm going to wire it all up and whatnot and I wanted to make sure I had all the right bits so I could definitely do it today. When I got outside, I was like, I'm just gonna do it now. So I literally spent like an hour or so after then just rigging up the actual water tank, which is here, putting all the pipes in, like molding them in and screwing them in and stuff like that. Um, and it was really cool. So uh, I've been really excited to get to today where I can test it, set it all up, make sure there's no leaks. And then if there's no leaks and it all works, then I'm gonna mount it in the caravan, connect it up to the mains water and to the water pump in the caravan and see if it actually pulls water and powers the shower and powers the taps etc so I'm gonna do that right now okay okay so we've got our line in from the tap inside so outdoor tap into the tank we've got the uh, water pump for the handgun we've got the handgun itself and this is a 12 volt handgun so basically it can be powered on the caravan battery alone it doesn't need to be plugged into mains or the caravan's inverted to work it's just a 12 volt pump so it would work on any normal leisure battery so far so good, water's filling in, just as it should be doing. So first things first, I'm going to let it overfill so that it goes out of the overfill line and just make sure that that's clear and make sure that, that runs without any leaks or anything like that because one thing that's really important is that we don't have any leaks on the system because it's in the caravan. If there's any leaks, it's going to start making the caravan wet inside and make it damp and ruin the whole thing basically. So we need to make sure that that's definitely, definitely all good. Okay, so I've put the lid on so we can't see when it's getting to the top, but the first sign we should see when it gets to the top is water coming out of that overflow pipe. Yay, there we go. There we go. Perfect, that test works really good. There's not a single drop of water come out of the seal on the in inflow bit, and there's not a single drop of water coming out of the overflow either, so that's really good. The seal looks good, and it is overflowing, obviously, onto the floor, so that works too. Now the final test. So we've turned off the water tap that would go to the mains in the caravan. We've turned that off so that the water doesn't flow straight out of the end of here onto the floor, and we're going to turn on the tap that goes to this pump. We're going to turn the pump on, and hopefully that's going to pump water up here, out, and through the gun without any leakages down here. Let's plug her in and do this. This is the one I'm most, definitely most nervous about. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. Yes, mate, there we go. Oh, yes. And the really good news about that is that there was absolutely no leaks. There was no leaks in any of the joints here. There's no moisture on them whatsoever. So it's absolutely spot on and perfect, ready to go. So all I need to do now is mount it in the caravan, connect it up to the mains and see if it actually works. Uh, I need to let this all drain out. It's probably gonna take a while draining out of that. 
uh, this little tiny outlet. But I will, uh, I'm gonna go sort the vlog out. It's about four o'clock and come back to this and see if we can do this today and um, show you guys if it works or not inside the caravan. Isla. Yeah? Why are we still watching Peppa Pig when Jace has gone to bed? I don't know. <laughs> why have you got my hair on your head? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's been such a fun but busy day today. I've spent pretty much the whole afternoon working on baby me. I've got some bunnies that are all done and ready to be shipped out the last few. <laughs> Still waiting on a couple of people providing the names when they forget to leave them at checkout. So I'll finish those tomorrow. Then i got to heat press them all. And I've also been working on some fresh new designs for a new product that's coming. I do have three designs to make, so I've been playing around with two of them today and then I'm gonna do the other one tomorrow because I just had to make dinner and blah, blah, blah. But it's been a good day today, right? Yeah. Ella's got on her beautiful new Pajijis. Pajijis. Pajujus, Pajajays. Oops. <laughs> her space ones, which she absolutely loves. I, I, I was really sad taking off my bucket hat. She, she wanted to go to bed in her hat, guys. <laughs> I love it. Don't end up like Dad. <laughs> She's like, no. 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 <laughs> anyway, guys, big massive thank you to all of you for your amazing, amazing edits for Prinny's birthday. They made us smile so much. I actually don't think Prinny's been feeling too good today, or especially not like this evening. She's got like fatty lumps on her skin, and we took her to the vets for them before, and they've said that they're just. Fat, they're like fatty, they're like spots kind of thing. But I don't know, Chris was terrified that maybe she had cancer or something. So we took her to the vets who confirmed that they are just like tissue, like fat, fatty lumps. That, that's what they said. But today I've noticed that one on her back started bleeding and it's not a place that she can reach to scratch with like her paws. If it was like somewhere on the front or on her chest or around her ear or something like that, <laughs> then I, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> then I think maybe she just scratched it, but it's not in a place she could reach. So Chris has been like panicking all night, looking online. Um, it turns out it's hopefully nothing sinister, but we do need to get her into the vet's first thing on Monday morning. But yeah, she just seemed to be a little bit quiet this evening, hasn't she? She had some chicken for her dinner tonight though. She sleeps which in my den. <laughs> she does, she sleeps in Isla's den every night. Isla locks her in there, don't you? <laughs> well, no, nah, I don't We don't have to in. lock her in anymore, do you? No. Because she she loves sleeping in there now. Um, so, anyway, that's enough about Prinny. Thank you all for her birthday mm. messages. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Yeah. Good, Good night, night, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.